Welcome inside TCO Studios. I'm Tatum Everett, and this is Pick 6, the show where we answer your fan questions. And this first one is for General Manager Quasi Adofa Mensa. He was kind enough to take some time out of his busy schedule to answer this first question from Big Skull. I thought Kyrie Jackson was a hell of a pick. Do you see him competing for a starting role for day one in training camp? Here's Quasi. You know, I, I would say that, and I, know, I don't want to give a cliched answer, but when you step in this building, I think everybody's competing uh, for a, a starting spot day one. Um, that's the mindset we have here. Uh, but specifically to Kyrie, I think he does have a skill set that, you know, we've all won, and, you know, obviously other guys have it, but um, just the ability to, to challenge, make things competitive on a man-to-man -man basis, to tackle in the run game, uh, to do his assignments in the zone game, and, and you know, obviously show up and run support, different things like that. So we, we certainly see him as somebody that compete uh, for playtime here early. Um, but it all, all starts with coming in, learning, getting with Coach Hat, making sure you're good on the special team side of things to make sure that you have a jersey on game day. And the rest from there is, is all upside. Thank you, Quasi, for weighing in here on pick six. Bama head coach Nick Saban did say Kyrie Jackson when he was in their cornerback room was the best corner cover. So there are some expectations here for Kyrie and we're excited to get him here for rookie minicamp later this week. We're on now to question number two. This question is from Clark. He asks, is McCarthy going to start immediately? Ben Gessling from the Star Tribune answers this question about J.J. McCarthy. I don't think immediately is in the Vikings plan. That's the reason Sam Darnold is here. It's the reason that they want to bring J.J. McCarthy along slowly. I think their hope is to have him get as much time as he needs to learn all of the details of the position. And there are a lot of details to learn in this offense from footwork to timing throws with receivers routes to understanding how to make checks at the line of scrimmage, to call two plays in the in the huddle, to do all of the different things that the Vikings want from their quarterback. They ask a lot from quarterbacks in this offense, and I don't think they want J.J. McCarthy to be rushed through any of that. So Sam Darnold is here to give him time. I think if he is good enough in training camp to say there's no reason to hold him back and he takes the job, I don't think they will hold him back out of principle. They'll, they'll give him a chance to go take it and run, but I also don't think he's going to be forced into the job. That's part of the reason they brought in a veteran. And just philosophically, they want to give rookies time to grow into that job so that when they're ready to take it over, they're not going to go back. So I don't expect we'll see J.J. McCarthy week one unless he's so good in training camp that the Vikings have no choice. And that would probably be a, a good problem for them to have. But short of that, I think it'll be Sam Darnold starting this season at quarterback for the Vikings. Thank you, Ben. I'm also a little on the fence, not ready to name a starter just yet, as we haven't even seen J.J. McCarthy hit the field here at TCOPC. But there's still a lot of time left between now and the season opener. Let's go now to question number three. James in Duluth wants to know, who is your favorite Vikings rookie? We thought Vikings radio analyst Pete Bursich would be a fun one to ask this one to. Thank you, James, for the question. And it's a tough one this year. You ask about the, my favorite Vikings rookie. I'm going to have to go with Dallas Turner, and I'll tell you why. Number one, we're going to see him on the field from day number one. He's going to be out there from the start of the season to the end of the season. The second thing, he's such a versatile, fast, powerful athlete. You combine him, Brian Flores, Grenard, Van Ginkle, we got ourselves a pass rush here now. So I am very excited, most excited, to see Dallas Turner this season. Thanks, Pete. I had a feeling you'd be leaning more towards a defensive guy. However, Dallas Turner, one of the top pass rushers from this year's draft class. Exciting things to come from him. It's now time for question number four. It comes to us from Ricky in Omaha. With four QBs on the roster, how do you see the competition playing out? ESPN's Kevin Seifert takes this one. Well, the first question is, are the Vikings going to bring all four quarterbacks to training camp? Uh, if you look back at the last two training camps with Kevin O'Connell, they only had three quarterbacks each time. And that's a lot of a lot of that is to get the right amount of reps for each guys and make sure that their their time is maximized. But all four of those quarterbacks uh, are potentially uh, excellent players for the team. And so they're not going to want to just get rid of a quarterback to get rid of one. So that part will be interesting. And the other part will be, you know, from the top is, 
who's going to be the, the week one starter? Is it going to be Sam Darnold or J.J. McCarthy? And I think a lot is to be said yet on that. And the, the odds on favorite would be Sam Darnold until we find out that J.J. McCarthy is really ready to go and, and uh, up to speed, and that could take some time. And then you get into who would be the backup and who would be the third string. This year, the NFL is allowing teams to use their third quarterback um, on game day uh, but leave him on the practice squad. That's a change from the rule last year. So they may only need to keep two quarterbacks on the roster. So much to be decided, uh, starting with the week one starter, but also the backups and how many they even want to bring to training camp from the start. Thank you, Kevin. We do have a long way until we find that out. And what an exciting time to go to training camp so you can see that quarterback battle in action. Moving on to question number five. This one's for Vikings Entertainment Network's Gabe Henderson. Alex, golf legend, wants to ask, will the Vikings run the North again? Here's his answer. Alex, first and foremost, I love the name. Secondly, I do believe the Vikings will run the North. Will that happen this year? I don't know. But what, will I, what I will say is the Vikings have made certain moves to be able to put themselves in contention for years to come. You have your quarterback. You got Aaron Jones, you got JJ. You have so many weapons on the defensive side of the ball now that puts you in prime position to be able to run the North, if not this year, then the following year and years to come. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. I think Vikings fans just need to be patient during the entire process. Thank you, Gabe. Patience is a virtue. And I know you guys are being patient, waiting for that schedule release to happen. Keep your eyes peeled and we will have all the breakdown once it's finally released. Moving on to the final question here on pick six. This is from Jeff Colvin. He asks, who will be the Vikings surprise best draft pick? Matthew Collar from Purple Insider takes this one. Well, I don't think it would be much of a surprise if their best draft pick was JJ McCarthy or Dallas Turner. So if we're going surprise, then probably fourth rounder Kyrie Jackson, who took a long path to the NFL. He quit football out of high school and then went the community college route and eventually ended up at Oregon having an excellent 2023 season. Interesting stat from Kyrie Jackson that about 30% of throws that went in his direction, he actually either knocked away or made an interception on. So a real playmate on the ball and something I also found intriguing about him is his size he's almost six foot four which sounds like it could work pretty well with Brian Flores that really likes to get a lot of players in the game we found that out last year that if you've got something that you can do Brian Flores will find a way to find a role for you on the field which could open up the door early on for Kyrie Jackson to have a chance you had his playmaking skills his size he was one of the highest graded run defenders and tacklers by PFF in college football last year all of that makes him, I think, one of the more intriguing draft picks in the entire draft for the Minnesota Vikings. So when we get to training camp, keep an eye on him. He may be one of the surprise players from this draft. Thank you, Matthew. Rookies report on Thursday. Their first day of rookie minicamp is Friday. It's an exciting week around here at Twin Cities Orthopedics Performance Center. And this has been your episode of Pick 6. If you have a question, make sure you submit it online at Tatum Everett on Twitter or fill out our Pick 6 question submission form. Thanks for tuning in.